but that's still the best way to approach it because in the end you'll end up like uh, looking like Quasimodo you know <laughs> there should only be one or two things going on at a time why did you leave the special forces all right guys q a time i've collected a few questions from my instagram and from youtube and i've compiled them into this video so i've written them all down in my small red book so we're just gonna get straight into it man would you recommend going into the military or moving to thailand you know it's funny because i'm actually advocating for young people to go into the military and the reason for this is you, because you learn so much if you just go in with the right approach you can learn so much about teamwork social dynamics discipline self-accountability if you just go in there with the right approach then that is what you're going to learn but i've seen tons of people who don't learn that stuff that i've served with they don't learn anything because they don't it's like the the saying you go there to train and not to be trained so you have to think about okay what is it why am i doing this why am i doing that you have to extract all those stuff and you can design your life with those ideas that you're learning there but it depends on your age i would say go into the military if you're like 17 18 just do a few years don't get stuck in it though don't get stuck in it just do a couple years learn some stuff and then head down to thailand come train with me at the gym boom second question am i religious yes in a paragraph i believe i mean it's the thing is that it's so much better to believe that there is some standard to uphold and that there's someone watching you do it like every single action that's so much that's just the best way to go about life i think and there are all these values associated with god or whatever you want to believe in that you should uphold it it's like there's a standard you probably heard of this but there is this saying uh, you should live your life like there's a movie or a film crew following you around but it's the same thing but with the film crew they don't have any standards but a god something different has those standards having something there something above you making like something that you have to strive towards but i think that's the best way to approach it it might not be true it might be true who knows but that's still the best way to approach it so that's my take on it hey nico i'm new to the channel been enjoying the content a lot one question i have for you is how do you hold yourself accountable to hit your goals so this one is interesting and the first thing i would say is you be, have to become action focused instead of goal focused you know the muay thai i'm doing i before i came to thailand i had no aspirations of becoming a muay thai fighter I, I came down to Thailand and I watched my friend fight. And when I came here, when I came here, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do some grappling, do some Muay Thai, do some training, whatever, right? Uh, then I watched my friend fight. I was like, damn, that looks cool. Why don't we try that? And so I said, okay, let's, in three months, we're going to we're gonna do a fight. Now, the way I accomplished this was I just trained. Okay, my fo whole focus was to do the action, not the goal, okay? I didn't care too much about the fight. Uh, I cared about waking up every day, showing you the practice, action, 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 always. Now, uh, I don't think that means that you shouldn't be goal focused at all. Like it should be there, but just focus on getting the stuff done, the small stuff. If you want to build business, have a goal for whatever target you want to hit. But do the do the stuff a day. Create the content. Do the small website fix or whatever. Do the small stuff. Okay and put effort into that every single day and you know the goal will come along no worries i mean so maybe that's how i hit the goals i just i just do stuff and then boom magic happens but everything i do is well focused and there's always an element of doing more than necessary and also for hitting your goals don't spread yourself too thinly if you have one goal try to do just that okay i have done much other th stuff than muay thai while i've been here I, I don't party, I don't drink, and I, maybe that's that why I hit all my goals. Uh, there should only be one or two things going on at a time. If you spread yourself more thin than that, you'll, you'll find that progress will slow down rapidly. Do you eat fruits as well? Yes, I do. I love fruit. Fruit is nice. It's a very good substitute too for your sugar cravings. Cut it up and use that as a substitute for all snacks and whatever that's a really good thing that's what i like about it and i also feel really light and quick when i eat fruit for some reason i'm no you know nutritional expert on this but 
I feel light, I feel good, I feel quick bah, when I eat fruit. So, I mean, if it works, it works. So I'm gonna keep doing that, I love it. Best way to combine gym, gaining mass and Muay Thai. Now here, this is, this is important because I, it's, it's funny too, because I gained weight while training Muay Thai two, three times a day. I gained mass, crazy, and I was more shredded. Maybe it's a genetic thing, I have no clue. I hate the genetic argument in general uh, because I think it's dumb. If you put in the work, usually you'll see the results. So for, for this, do the Muay Thai, do more gym. You can do it all. Try to avoid too much shoulder work because in the end you'll end up like, uh, you're looking like Quasimodo, you know? <laughs> and you also, you know, you'll end up with bad posture. So focus a lot of your efforts on back work do some press, pressing work as well. Maybe go heavier on the pressing work because you'll do a lot of the hypertrophy during your Muay Thai work, uh, classes with the push-ups, with the, with the reps on the pads and everything, right? It's always, that's one rep, right? Bam. That's what I've been doing mostly when I've been doing the weights as well as a Muay Thai, doing a lot of back workouts, doing a lot of leg, leg workouts, and then it's been, just been a lot of the push-ups and a bit of supplementing with some some uh, dumbbell presses as well, and it's been good. Aim for uh, at least four to five weight workouts a week and uh, a shit ton of Muay Thai. You'll be a beast. Feelings going into the ring for your fight. Yeah, so I had my first fight, put a video out on it, a bit of a documentary slash edit. So the feelings going in, I'll make a full video on like the camp mentality. I got a question about this, make a full video about discipline and camp mentality because I have a new fight coming up on the 9th of January. That's in 13, 13 days now. But the feelings going in there, I was uh, very calm. It's very calming stepping into the ring. It felt really familiar. And that is because I visualized previously when I'm in, when I've done the sparring previously, I've closed my eyes and visualized that. Okay, I'm here. I feel, I feel the crowd, I feel the music, I feel, I look and I, you know, I see my opponent, everything is vivid. This is why I think I was so calm going in there because I've, I've basically been there before in here. All this stuff helps. So when I got in there, I was really calm and uh, yeah, I just wanted to kill the guy, but it was like a calm killer vibe. So I think that's the way to go about it. How many calories do you eat in a day? So I would say 3,500 to 5,000. Maybe when I was bulking and doing Muay Thai a few months ago, I didn't even know I was bulking, okay? I just drink heavy cream, it works. I train hard and you know, you get a physique like this. But maybe then it was around 5,000. Now I've cut a little bit of weight, so it's more like 3.5, 3, uh, 3,500. Just make sure to get enough and it, it, like calories in. It's not like you can eat anything like Sam Sulek, okay? That's bullshit. He's on gear. It's a completely different game. He'll gain mass, whatever. But I think that it's all, if you eat good food, you'll feel good in here. Next up, are you natural? Yes, 100%. Never even considered. I actually, I have considered it. I'll be completely honest. I have considered it big time. I've been very close to uh, jumping on something as well. Just because I, I wanted to train more. It wasn't just, to, it wasn't to get bigger. It's because I wanted to be able to do more. I think you can uh, accomplish way more than you think. And then people think naturally. So stay natural is the best way to do it. Any financial advice for young men? Financial advice? I'm the action man. I'm not the money man. <laughs> the best advice I can give you, which I know works well for me, is to just get in a killer shape and a killer mentality. The best way to do this is to join the community down below because that's where, that's where we teach to train killers. There's never gonna, never gonna be a downside to that. It's also gonna help you think clear. You're gonna make better decisions when you're in shape, you have the, the mindset of an absolute savage. If I can do a 50K run, no worries, then there's no stopping me in working a 15 hour day on a business, for example. You see how it translates like that. So that's my tip. Become an absolute killer shape. Check out the link below. Do you do calisthenics or just lift? Now I suppose you mean like just bodybuilding style. I haven't done a lot of bodybuilding style stuff in a while, which is weird because I've retained so much mass. People comment on this. That's probably why they think I'm not natural, but <laughs> it's weird. I mean, I do hang-ups, I do push-ups. 
I love push-ups and hang-ups, uh, so, but I want to get even better at calisthenics. That's the next chapter. I want to be able to like muscle up, uh, like I want to be able to like fly off the bar, like shoop, and then just take off, like levitating almost. That would be insane. If I could weigh 210 pounds and do that, that would be pretty cool. So this is how I think about stuff. I'm like, damn, that would be, be really cool. And then I just go and do it. It's that simple. What's up guys? So I'm just sitting here edi editing the video, the vlog itself that you're watching right now. And I just realized that there's another question that I should um, include in the Q&A. So I'm going to do that. Hello, Nico, brother. I've been here since the first short tips you've been making. And here we are. What a ride it is. And the lesson that I learned have made me accomplish many things this year. God bless you, bro. My question is, what is the solution to procrastination? For example, you know what you need to do. The work needed that will benefit you and the work necessary to do it if for some reason the mind brain just keeps refusing in your opinion how to overcome this procrastination but your mind brain just keeps refusing you know what i would do because everyone says uh, to the procrastination question it's like oh you yeah, but just do it but how can we make that step a bit easier find the smallest simplest action and do that so if i Let's say I want to clean my room, right? First thing I do is, can I stand up from my chair? Can I physically just stand up from my chair, right? That, that is an action. And I've noticed this too. I noticed, it, noticed this the, my last year in the military. When I'm sitting down, nothing gets done. If I just keep standing, everything goes. It flows. Boom, 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 boom. So when I did, I did training in the morning, got home from uh, my military service, um, didn't sit down. I just, okay, let's pack, pack this, go gym. Then when I got home, didn't sit down. I was like, okay, go make food, head to jujitsu. I didn't sit, I didn't touch my chair. I was like conscious of it. Okay, I'm not going to sit down. I'll eat standing. I'll do it, whatever. Do not sit down. I think that's my tip to you. Find the simplest action relating to what you want to accomplish and do that. That goes for big goals as well. But like right here, your goal is like, okay, for example, clean your room, stand up. I think that's it, okay? Try it. All right, the big question, huh? Why did you leave the special forces? Interesting. Now, this is stuff, I haven't told you guys about this. I was in the special forces back in 2020 to 2021. I'm just gonna keep it completely real with you guys. That. So, so I did, I got through selection and then I did one year of training inside the Norwegian Naval Special Forces. And there I learned about hostage rescue, deliberate CQB. I did uh, attack diving underwater. We did uh, like uh, stealth swimming above water. We did uh, tactic like na land navigation, winter land navigation, everything, survival. So I, I learned a lot uh, and I felt on top of the world when I was there. And the reason I left was that, well, I didn't actually leave. I got taken out of training. You're probably wondering why I got taken out of training and I don't want to get too much into it. I don't like talking about it because why should I? Like all you really need to know is that I didn't finish the full training and I have no problem saying that at all. At the same time, I learned so much from uh, the fact that I got taken out of training. Uh, it was so painful and so difficult for me to deal with that. And maybe one of the reasons why I still do the stuff I do today is because from that pain and suffering of that loss, I, um, I just started working out more. I worked out, worked out, worked out. That's all I did. So, so I think that it came a lot of good from it. That's usually what happens when you have these heartbreaking stuff, this heartbreaking stuff happen to you. you it ends up good in some way or form, but you have to. I, I could have just laid on my back and died. I could have shot myself, who knows? But I chose to, okay, I'm so angry, I'm so miserable. That was like, okay, let's work out more. Okay, one more training, one more session, okay? So maybe that's my escapism. And I'll, I'll say this at the same time, that it's the same point I made with the goal setting. Don't spread yourself too thinly, because that was my issue when it came to, I was super focused. And then just before I got taken out of the special forces training, after a year, I had so much stuff on my mind. So many, so much stuff I was thinking about other than completing the year and putting my full effort into that one thing. So it, it distracted me. Girls, uh, different type of stuff. Don't do that, like I said. 
do not spread yourself too thinly. It will absolutely destroy you. It destroyed me, uh, but I built myself back up. And so, I mean, here we are. I think in the end though, I would have had to leave the Special Forces regardless because there's a certain jab that I didn't take uh, that you had to take. So I would, I, I would have been forced to leave regardless, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I learned a lot from it and uh, a lot of good people there. A lot of really good people inside uh, the Special Forces. It was a really, really good year. Absolutely phenomenal year. Really hard year. One of the hardest year to like physically. Some of the stuff we did there, absolutely grueling. So I guess that not comes to no surprise though. I loved it, man. I loved it. Just being in that zone, waking up like 5.30, Okay, we do going for a run. Okay, then it's, uh, what is it? Like the obstacle course, midwinter. And there's this water plunge, like this uh, mud thing in the middle of it. So you have to break the ice and crawl through it. And then it was jump in the ocean. Then it was <laughs> uh, go up, take a shower, uh, go to class, learn about diving, go dive, go back, learn about diving, go dive. Crazy regiment. And it may, that's, I think that's helped me, you know, create this, the mindset that I have today and my work capacity that I have today. But also just the fact that I decided to put myself in a position where taking all that grief and sorrow um, to push myself into more training, more training, more training. I think that's, you know, that's it. Peak, l peak of life. But anyways, I just wanna thank you guys for watching. That was a full Q&A. Just keeping it totally real with you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the links below if you have any questions dm me on ig no worries take care and god bless join bravo 6 down below i'll see you guys boom